Hi, I'm Martin with Baker Creek Seeds, and we're out here in our corn patch doing some hand pollination. We're bagging the silks and the tassels, getting ready to do some crossing. Um, this is a variety called, I, I think I'm pronouncing this correctly, Dobrano. Uh, it's an early purple uh, developed by Dr. Frank Kuka. Uh, corn is a plant that's got a, uh, a unique flowering system. It's got what can be considered the male flowers is uh, among the tassel here which is, will grow the anthers that emit the pollen. And then it's got the female part of the flower is on the silk, which you can see some tiny silk starting to emerge right in here. Uh, that's the tip of the ear that's actually coming out between the, uh, at this node between the leaf blade and the stalk of the plant. They're shoot bags. They, they're specifically designed for bagging silks and um, the technique we use for putting these over the tips of the shoots, when we see the tips of the shoots start to emerge, we will, on a daily basis, come through and scout the field for that. And we take the uh, leaf blade off. I like to take off a little bit of the tips of those uh, shoot tips there, uh, those leaves, so that they don't push the bag up off of the plant. And we just slip this down and wedge it between the stalk and the ear. Now that shoot will develop inside of this bag and the silks will grow inside of that protected from getting pollinated. We will take what's called a tassel bag and we will find of the same variety or whichever variety we want to cross with. Um, if it's a different variety that we want to cross to this variety or what have you, we will find a tassel that's got active anthers on it that are actively shedding pollen, and we will bag that. And the way we do that is we uh, carefully take off that top leaf blade, place the specially developed bag over the entire tassel, and then we'll fold it into us, wrapping it around the stalk here really tightly. And then I like to uh, neatly fold it at a, uh, approximately a 45 degree angle to the stalk, sealing it off nice right there. The pollen will be shed inside this bag tomorrow morning. And so if I have silks out here, I will be able to take the pollen from this uh, tassel and I'll be able to swap it out with one of these shoot bags that has silks in it. And what we have here is a tassel bag that was placed on the corn, the pollinating corn tassel yesterday afternoon. This morning, these anthers that are inside this bag should be shedding pollen. This uh, bag should have a bunch of pollen in it. And we're gonna actually take this off of here and we're gonna transfer it to one of the little um, shoot bags that we had placed on the, the silks yesterday to protect them from getting pollinated. And so yesterday we identified uh, some uh, of the shoot bags that had silks in them. We went about uh, bagging up some tassels for an equal number of uh, tassels, and we're gonna perform the crosses this morning. So what I like to do, and there's a lot of different ways to do this, there's not necessarily one right way. I like to use aseptic techniques for this. Today is a terrible day for it. You can see the breeze is blowing, there's pollen in the air moving around. So it's uh, really tough to keep it uh, clean, but I have to make this cross. I'm going to do it very quickly or as quickly as I possibly can and try to mitigate the uh, possibility of stray pollen falling onto my um, my silks. So I like to take it and hold it horizontal to the ground and I just kind of tap it a little bit. These pollen bags are designed such that you can pull up straight on those two inner flaps and you can actually see the pollen in there. So I'm going to try to keep that pollen in there. And, and now I'm going to take it to one of these silks, which is just up this way. And you can see the silk in here, Izzy. If you want to get around with the camera from the opposite side, you can actually see these silks in here. You can see them through that bag. 
So I'm going to very quickly try to remove this bag and get the other bag on there quickly. Dumping some pollen on there and putting it right down on there, covering it quickly so no other pollen gets on it. And then this bag remains on the, um, the chute, the developing chute, which in a few hours should be fertilized to secure it here. We wrap those two inner flaps around the back side of the stalk. And I put a couple staples in it. That will stay there until this ear is fully formed. <laughs> 